Hey everyone, Hi, I'm Greg Arnold, and I'll be voicing for Marco Alamani. Welcome to Digital Forensics with Kelly Linux, a video course by Pact Publishing. Let's give a little background about Marco Alamani. He's an IT security professional with experience of penetration testing, also digital forensics using the Kali Linux distribution, mainly working in the financial and insurance service industry. He also authored the book, Kali Linux Wireless Penetration Testing Essentials for PACT. This is an overview of the course, which is for the most part practice oriented and focuses on leveraging Kali Linux for digital forensics. The first goal of the course is to recall the basic theory of digital forensics, then to fully understand what we'll do in practice. Next goal is learning to practically use the tools provided by Kali Linux to perform the digital forensics process. We'll see how to acquire images from different types of media and devices, extract and analyze artifacts from them, recover deleted data, acquire and analyze live memory and network traffic packets. Finally, we'll cover how to report and present the findings with the tools included in Kali Linux. Note that the course does not cover all the forensic tools included in Kali Linux, but rather the most relevant for our purposes. The first section introduces the fundamentals of digital forensics. In order to understand the practice and show how to download Kali Linux and install it in a VM, if you want, you could skip this part if you're already familiar with the distribution. Section 2 is about acquiring images of media that could be either hard drives, USB drives, memory cards, and mobile devices. We start by explaining the fundamentals of the forensic acquisition process, then introduce the DCFLDD and DC3DD forensic acquisition tools. This also covers image acquisition with the DC3DD tool. First, we explain the tool and its various options. Then we see two practical examples of its usage with the hard drive and partitions of an Android device. If you don't feel comfortable with CLI tools, don't worry. This section also covers a GUI imaging utility, Guy Major, which allows you to image medias with a few mouse clicks. This section, we see the same two practical examples of the previous section using this tool. So far, we've seen how to image medias and to be analyzed. Third section, we cover the extraction and analysis phase. We introduce the Sleuth Kit set of tools to examine the file system and different CLI tools. This will extract and analyze the most significant artifacts. Using as an example, an image of a Windows system, registry keys, browser, email, and IAM artifacts, and file metadata. Then we show how to use log2 timeline slash plasso to build a super timeline. Section four, we describe the file carving concepts and present three carving tools for recovering deleted data bypass in the file system, like Foremost, Scalpel, and PhotoRec. And we cover Bulk Extractor, which is a tool that can extract many useful data from a raw image. Section 5 is the time of an all-in-one forensic suite, Autopsy 4. This version is not installed by default on Kali Linux, but it's really worth installing it because it has many new features and an improved graphical interface. We'll see how to install and use it to automate the extraction and analysis activities, which were described in the previous sections. Also, how to analyze an Android image with the Android Analyzer module. Section 6, we start with an overview of the memory forensics theory, and we describe the tools and the procedure to acquire a live memory image. Then it shows how to use volatility to extract and analyze artifacts from the memory image. Section 7 is about network forensics, where we explain how to capture network packets and analyze them with Wireshark. Final section of the course covers the reporting phase using the tools provided by Kali Linux. That's about it for the overview of the course. Now we can get started with the first section, installation and setup.